Phoenix turn, Oscar in the white trunks. Looks like he wants to make quick work. Maybe he's still frustrated about that Mosley decision. He just wants to put on a show. We've already, seen, seen, woke up. We've already seen more action than we did in 12 rounds with Hopkins and Allen. Well, Oscar clearly Stern firing jabs. Said he would have no respect for Oscar in the ring tonight, so Oscar will make him earn that respect. Up. He's got power in both hands, but his left hook is, is extreme. Be your typical European fighter, the classic boxers, good jabs, upper body movement. He's got a good jab, I'm telling you. German amateur champion, as you mentioned, the first time in America. Last fight out, Georgia in Europe. They dominated them. Because look, look how high the hands are. Stern is pushing De La Hoya back. Taller, stronger man when he fights Bernard Hopkins. That's assuming a win here tonight. Some uh, sting on his punches, which uh, oftentimes happens when he's up defense. He just got hit with a weapon. Now De La Hoya looking to jab in this round, which he has not been doing. Believes by decisions. I know that he was going to kick. Hard to get through that defense as an uppercut Oscar tried. Okay. Felix Stern is quick hand. And I think, but I think he, I think Oscar gets a slight hit. Stern looks like he's going to be trouble for, for De La Hoya tonight. I really, very sharp, very great amateur records. Right hook. Oscar hears the bell and goes at it. Oh, quick hard punches inside. Oscar De La Hoya has always been a warrior. Well, German pastry, you know, but that's they need to be a little bit quicker. He's a good defense and classic boxers. There's just a little extra that they don't have, which is cool customers. He didn't just start doing this, though. He's got a great resume. Crowd saw last year. He was telling De La Hoya to keep that head in the Champion in five different weight divisions from the get-go. Inside a minute now, round six. Did I say round seven? Yes, I did. Yes, that's just what it is. Dale Hoy is going to attack, try to attack the hip now with right hand. I didn't see a lot of that right hand earlier in this period. I still have Dale Hoy ahead, but I agree with you that Stern does have a chance to win. Dale Hoy has shown you that he gets right out of the middle of the playbook. Not as much movement from Oscar at 160 now. Been flat footed most of the fight. I gave that last round to uh, Felix Sturm. I have him. Trailing De La Hoya by one point. Great combination from Oscar. He's got a good stationary target. He says some frustrated, impatient, frustrated a little bit. Well, you know, when Oscar came out, think back to the first round. I mean, it looked very flashy and it was exciting. He came out with his body, he wasn't up on his toes, he wasn't landing the jab. And Stern was able to survive all of that and get and actually. What we do is keep his brain. Good right hand. Lost his shoulders there or something. They keep flipping that shoulder in his career. Bend to the body. Made some really heavy button. Oscar's going out of bad intentions. Now that's more about what he needs to do. He needs to propose the opening 10 seconds to this round for Oscar. Keep him moving back. They were high to the right hand over the top of it. Taking two hard punches this round. Nice. That's Stern into a southpaw saying, What do you want him to get creative, Alan? He sure did. He's in a southpaw stance, and Oscar's eating up with it. He might want to go back the other way. I don't know why he got so creative with his left jab as he's playing. Look at him go now. Oscar trying to do some damage. Stern. He mostly in there. Very hard, extremely worried. Good hand from Stern. Good counter from Oscar. Good right hand from Oscar. Now they're throwing. Oscar trying to. Do some damage throwing combinations to the head. Third poor decision. Yes. It goes up far. And Oscar De La Hoya has been involved in a number of close decisions in his career right. here in Las Vegas. A minute 15 left. Oscar trying to throw combinations. Crowd loving it. Stern says, bring it, and Oscar does. De La Hoya trying to close the show the way that he did against that Cortez. Stern said, that doesn't hurt me. This is 
the way Oscar should have fought the whole night. Just bring it. Oscar just got rocked. He just got battled by a lot. Ten seconds. Felix Stern came to America this week and said, I'm not coming here to collect a check. I'm coming here to win. He's running now at the end of the round. As it evolved, round one, De La Hoya came out, and I mean, he came out loaded for bear. He just went to work. Body punches, head punches. Oscar came out very strong round one, had a very good round one. Round four, Oscar staying at long range here, mixing up his punches, still looking pretty good, but Stern beginning to get into the fight. By round 11, it was anybody's fight. De La Hoya trying hard to still work to the body. He had committed to a body attack early, and then in the 12th round, they just mixed it up. It was exciting. Look at the fans in the background, all on their feet. Now we await the... Ladies and gentlemen, here at the MGM Grand, we go to the scorecards. All three judges, Mike Liena, Dave Moretti, and Paul Smith scored the bout 115 to 113 for the winner by unanimous decision and new WBO middleweight champion of the world, the pride of East LA, the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. That is one relieved young man right there, that father, and Bernard Hopkins must be kissing the ground right now somewhere in the building. I noticed the Europeans, they cannot believe the decision, but you